Hi, I'm Paula, one of your hosts at Little River Bed and Breakfast in Peterborough, New Hampshire. Each year we participate in the Courier and Knives Cookie Tour, which takes place in mid-December here in southern New Hampshire's Monadnock region. Our signature cookie this year is a peppermint swirl sugar cookie. It's a fairly easy recipe for a refrigerator cookie that's slice and bake, um, or the swirl is already created in the dough itself. Uh, there's a little bit of technique involved, so I'd like to show you how I do it. So at this point, you have made your sugar cookie dough. Divide it in half, left half white, and tint the other half red. Um, it also helps to let the dough chill for just a little while after you make it, maybe only 15 or 20 minutes, um, so that it's uh, just a little bit cool, but not too, and it's not sticky anymore. Um, you want to form each half into a disc that's about the same size as the other and about the same thickness. Um, and I like to use a bench scraper at this point. You could use a knife, um, but I found that the bench scraper works pretty well. So take your first disc and just cut it in half. Do the same with the red. And then pair up red and white halves so that you have two new discs, half red, half white. Then working on them individually, take your new disc, and cut it in half again. So that you've got quarters of each color. Flip one half over and join the two halves. Okay. Trying to keep the points right uh, even in the center. Now I like to take uh, my scraper and mark my last cuts. I'll cut the white first. And then the red. And so again, I've got four pieces. each half red, half white, and I'll simply rearrange the pieces by turning over every other one so that I have alternating colors. Keeping the points in the center, I'll squeeze it together. And at this point, I'm already starting to kind of twist it. The key to getting the swirl shape to the peppermint cookie is to always twist in the same direction. Um, my preference happens to be at this point to go counterclockwise. So I'm going to work with my disc in the horizontal uh, position, twisting it counterclockwise, squeezing it together so that it's starting to get thicker. Occasionally pressing it down so that the center doesn't get too uh, indented. Occasionally I want to turn it over and work in the other direction. The only trick to that is when I turn it over, now I have to switch directions. So I started out counterclockwise, now I'm working clockwise. But you can already see that the outside edge of the dough is starting to make the swirl. And I'll usually keep it in this position until it's about as thick as my hands. I'll turn it over one more time. Again, switch direction. Try to keep the outside edges from getting too puffy. Okay. So once it's about as thick as my hands, I want to roll it in the horizontal direction. So I need to turn it over. Since I've been moving in the counterclockwise direction, it's going to lend me to have to push away from my body. Okay. So now I'll just start pushing it away, always rolling in the same direction to keep that twist. Add a little bit of sugar, uh, excuse me, a little bit of flour because it's getting sticky. And I'm just going to keep rolling, keeping the ends in until my dough is about two inches thick and about eight inches, at least for this recipe. That's about what I want. adding flour when I need it. Once I get to my eight inches, 
about two inches in thickness. Then I'm going to switch and I'm going to try to roll the outside of the cookie dough in um, sprinkles or uh, pearl sugar or something to decorate the outside edge. Because I've been rolling my dough in uh, a little bit of flour to keep it from sticking, I want to wipe off the flour with a damp paper towel um, and to just moisten the outside edge. You could probably use milk or something else I've seen people use um, to do this, but I find that a damp paper towel is just simple and easy. And then I roll, uh, I use a, a baking tray with my pearl sugar, and I can roll my dough until the outside is coated. Then at this point I will wrap it in wax paper and stick it in the fridge for a few hours until I can then start cutting the cookies. So now the dough has chilled in the refrigerator for a few hours and so uh, we can cut it into slices for baking. And I'll just show you a couple. Uh, I like to start in the middle of the roll because uh, you do have the prettiest part of the swirl there. But cut it carefully with a sharp knife, a serrated knife, and then, oops, there you go, you can see the peppermint swirl. And you can continue to cut each side in about quarter inch slices. And set them out on your cookie sheet. And bake them as directed. And there you go, peppermint swirl sugar cookies.